How you doing? I understand you're interested in a new expedition. Let me show you some of the features that these things have. This is a 2022 in a really pretty iconic silver metallic. It's got that clear coat on it, helps protect the paint, ages a little bit better. One of my favorite features about these personally on the XLT, you can get a remote start. So we'll go ahead and send that real quick. As you can tell, this thing runs really quiet. If you're parking it in the garage at night, bringing home sleeping kids, whatever it is, you don't have to worry about it waking anybody up. We also have 20 inch black wheels on this one. It's a bit of an upgrade. The taller wheels just give you a little bit more clearance over the ground, going over speed bumps, whatever it might be. It just rides a little bit better. So if we go over here, you can see that the mirrors fold in automatically when you lock it up. And then when we unlock it, they'll come out ready to go for you. These mirrors also have a blind spot alert system, so you can tell when there's somebody in your blind spot and know not when to merge. It just helps it drive a little bit safer. On the inside here, we've got ActiveX seating material. This is really great. It's very similar to leather and feel very comfortable but it ages better than leather doesn't dry out doesn't crack and it's a lot easier to clean which is nice with this lighter color you get the best of both worlds a really interesting interior color but one that won't stain either you also have rubberized floor mats in here makes it really easy to clean up spills accidents happen especially because with an expedition you're probably going to be stopping getting food for the kids accidents happen so go ahead and open up this back seat here very similar setup you got two bucket seats in here, which is actually really nice because then you keep your kids a little bit more separated. Everybody knows that he touched me, she started it, whatever. Now they got their own little section here. Same thing in the back, rubberized floor mats. This is where the majority of the spills are gonna happen, so it's really nice to have those. Moving to the back here. With the touch of a button, this opens automatically, or with the key, you can do it as well. And depending on how tall your garage is, if you need this door not to open quite so far, you can actually hold it to where you want it to be and hold this button right here, it'll beep at you. And that'll be the new setting for how high the lift gate goes, which is really nice. As you can see, you got plenty of cargo space back here for fitting sports equipment, football, soccer, whatever it may be. And it's really nice because these seats are powered down. So if you just hit this button right here, there it goes. Easy access to all that cargo space. And the same thing whenever you need to fold them up to fit a few more passengers in here. You can just hit that button, bring it right up. It can fit seven people in here. It can fit a lot of people. You can come around this way. Just get another look at that back seat. Plenty of space in the second row and in the third row. Uh, everybody's gonna be riding really comfortable and it feels even more spacious because of this nice panoramic sunroof here. It goes all the way back to the second row and it just gives this thing more of a luxurious feel, you know? Coming around here to this side entry pad right here which is nice in case your key fob ever dies for some reason you need to get in the car right here you have a memory driver seat which is super nice so if you're not the only driver of your car you can actually hold one and then this lock button and it'll set your seat and your mirror adjustments as well as your pedal and steering wheel adjustments so that way you don't have to fight every time somebody drives your car uh, really nice too because it changes the steering wheel the steering wheel is power adjustable up down and telescoping as well as the pedals here power adjustable uh, if you want to go ahead and hop inside, and I'll show you a few features from the passenger seat. So, from in here, if you want to go ahead and put your foot on the brake and just hit this start button right here, it's an accessory mode because I did the remote start. So we'll get it turned all the way on for you. As you can see, you got a really nice big screen here. You got those cooled and heated seats as well as a heated steering wheel. Dual zone climate control, so again, you have a front passenger they can have their own temperature setting so there's no fights there which is really nice uh, these two buttons here control the shade for the panoramic sunroof so you can have it closed just halfway over the rear seats or you can close it all the way up and then this here controls the front glass this is the only part of the glass that actually opens but uh, if you need to get a little bit more air send it super easy garage door opener up here as well and then here in the screen this has the sync 4 system it's super advanced uh, wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. So if you like to use your phone's interface more than the car's actual one, you can use your phone's navigation and audio systems. Just makes things a little bit more familiar so you don't have to learn another system. If you do want to use the car's built-in navigation, it's right here. So you can have your phone settings. If you need to call or anything like that, navigation, sound settings, and then there's all kinds of features on here. We could be here for two hours talking about that. Uh, you also have a wireless charging pad down here, as well as USB chargers there really cool thing about this one too is all the different drive modes so with just these switches it'll actually change your drive mode up there so and then have a few different settings so normal tow haul this does have the trailer tow package it'll pull up to 9200 pounds 
slippery, trail, eco, and then sport for if you really want to have fun with it. Uh, those just change the way the transmission shifts and the throttle response to give you a little bit of a different driving experience depending on what kind of situation you're in. Uh, this one also has a lot of really cool driver assist features. So you have a lane keeping system, cruise control, it's got front uh, collision assist. Uh, there's just a lot of things that make this vehicle very, very safe, especially since you're going to have a family in it. So uh, really cool thing about this as well is it's actually got the Ford Pass hotspot in it. So you can have a Wi-Fi hotspot in your vehicle and there's a 120 volt outlet back here. So you can plug a laptop in and even turn this into like a mobile office, mobile workstation. Uh, it's a really neat vehicle, so I'm really glad that you came out to spend some time with me and look at it, and uh, let me know how you feel about it.